years ago, a young man named Marcus. He was homeless, veteran, and people thought he was ugly. And they walked by him every chance they received. And one day, a woman with manicured hands, looking lovely in a fur coat, said, Marcus, would you like something to eat? He's startled because he has no idea who this lady is. And as the lady picks up a homeless man, a cop happens to be walking by and it looks like a disturbance. And as they all get up, the officer says, ma'am, do you have a problem? The lady says, no, I just want to feed this homeless person. They take this homeless person by force because his pride won't let him. And he goes to the cafe on the corner. And almost intuitively, the lady says, take me to that seat. It was a old rusted seat. The cushion was torn back right of the cafe. She said to the waiter, give me a roast beef sandwich so big I have to cut it with a knife, so greasy it stains the paper. As the waiter went off, the owner of the cafe comes, looks at the officer, looks at the lady, and tells the officer and the lady, we can't have this homeless man here, our customers are complaining. The lady looks at the owner and says, do you know the Cruz Foundation? I said, yes ma'am, they rent out my biggest room every Tuesday. She says, well, I'm Penelope Cruz. I'm the CEO of that foundation. And immediately, the owner straightens his face and cowardly walks back to where he was. And the officer smirks and says, I'm glad you set him straight. He says, no, I didn't mean to set him straight. And then she looks at the homeless man and says, Marcus, do you remember me? Yet the homeless man has no recollection. Then the lady says, two years ago, I walked in here after college with no money. And I asked you, you worked behind this counter. I asked you, do you mind if I can eat, if I clean the restaurant? You said, that's not legal. You told me no, but you told me sit over here, right where we're sitting. And you brought me a roast beef sandwich that was so big, I had to cut it with a knife. So greasy, it stained the paper bag it was in. Marcus, I tell you today, I'm a millionaire CEO. I was down on my luck, but I watched you put your own money in the cash register, and I ate, and later on that day at a payphone, I received a call from a job that would eventually lead me to being a CEO. Marcus, I've been looking for you for two years. For two years, I've been looking for you. I have a house that's already been arranged for you, clothes that's already been arranged for you, and a job that's already been arranged for you. All you have to do is accept it, and of course, Marcus did. Ladies and gentlemen, God still fights. And even though it may seem rough, your way has already been arranged. God at war. Amen. I am the Alpha and the Omega. The first and the last. The beginning and the end. <laughs> My lord, I had been expecting death to come. <laughs> there will be no more death or mourning or crying or pain. I am making everything new. 
Yes. I am coming soon. <laughs> May the grace of the Lord be with all God's people. Amen. <laughs>